Amelia Earhart was on that famous quest when she vanished in 1937 to become the first woman pilot to circle the globe. Well, tonight here, word of a new discovery, a tiny broken jar, and it could be proof that she might have survived that crash after all. Here's Ron Claiborne. We may now be one tantalizing step closer to the answer of what happened to Amelia Earhart. Because of this, a 1930s-era glass jar of anti-freckle cream. Earhart hated her freckles and was known to conceal them. Amelia had freckles, and there are numerous occasions when she expressed concern about her freckles. Five broken pieces of the jar were found on the tiny, uninhabited South Pacific island of Nicomaroro. The reconstructed glass shards look a lot like this container for Dr. Berry's freckle ointment, which was sold in the 1930s. One of the pieces appears to have been used as a cutting tool. This looks to us like castaway behavior. In 2010, a woman's compact, buttons, and a zipper from a flight jacket, all American-made in the 1930s, were unearthed on the same island. Together, all of those artifacts are extremely significant. Nicomaroro Island is southeast of Howland Island, where Earhart intended to stop over on a round-the-world flight. Her last radio transmission was depicted in the 2009 movie, Amelia. We are running north and south. We hear you, we hear you. Are you receiving us? So where's her plane? One scenario, that Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan made an emergency landing on the low-lying coral reef island and the plane washed out to sea. Next month, researchers will begin looking for it in several thousand feet of water. Setting out on the most dangerous aeronautic feat ever attempted. One of the world's great mysteries may just be a little closer to being solved. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.